Imagine a robot that doesn't just see the world, it feels it. Not sci-fi, this is robot haptics trained in virtual reality. Here's the hook. If a robot can sense weight texture slip, it can do what cameras alone miss, like gripping a cherry without squishing it, twisting a cap without stripping it. So how do I teach that? I put the robot's hands in VR. In a digital twin of the real world, I spawn thousands of objects, soft, hard, sticky, slick, and I randomize everything. Lighting friction shapes tiny vibrations. That chaos trains the AI to handle surprises. Inside the sim, tactile sensors act like digital skin. When a fingertip touches a virtual sponge, the system feels squish. When a bottle starts to slip, it senses micro vibrations. I reward good grips, penalize fumbles, classic reinforcement learning. Then I pass the controller. I teleoperate in VR, showing the robot expert moves. Those demonstrations become the robot's playbook. The magic is sim to real. I export the policy to a real robot hand with gel-like fingertips. Thanks to domain randomization, it transfers way better than you'd think. Still, reality throws curveballs. Dustware latency. I close the loop. Quick test logs tune the sim retrain. Faster each round. Why does this matter? Warehouse picking without crushing packages. Surgical robots that feel a pulse. Home helpers that finally fold laundry without mangling fabric. Prosthetics that let you sense the edge of a cup. Gaming gloves that press back, not just vibrate. Big hurdles? Safety. Force limits always on. Latency, because touch needs millisecond timing. Ethics. No creepy data collection from your living room. The future. A tactile internet where your haptic glove in New York lets a robot in Tokyo feel what you feel. Securely and in sync. If sight was chapter 1 for robots, touch is chapter 2. And we're just opening the book. Hit me with your wildest feel this test. I'll try it in VR. And if it passes, I'll put it in a real robot's hand.